So we're here with Cindy Bose from Waverly High School. Cindy, what are we going to see today? We are going to do a review concept from some things that the students learned on Friday for inside out, with inside outside circles. Um, they did a little bit of vocabulary with polynomials, and they did a little bit of some work with polynomials. So we're just going to verify that they understand those terms and give them an opportunity to ask each other questions and share information and correct some errors if they have some. So who are we working with today? We are working with second year algebra students today. All right, thanks. The little activity that we're going to do today is called Inside Outside Circle. Those of, you that, mm -hmm. those of you that have had me, I think we've done it at least once or twice. Those of you that are new to my class, you may not have done it, but here's how it's going to work. These four rows of desks, what we're going to have to do, not right now, but in a minute, we're going to have to turn them sideways and shove them off against the wall and move the chairs over so that we have a nice big space in the middle of the room. Okay? Each of you is going to need to find a partner and stand face to face with your partner so I can tell you partner. We have an odd number of people in here today, which means then we will have one group of three. So I'll tell you how that's going to work in a minute. Once we get all arranged in our circles and we have my friends that are going to stand next to each other, you're each going to get a card. And on your card you're going to see a side that has red print on it, and the other side is going to have black ink on it. The red side is basically the question. The black ink side is basically the answer. So there's essentially two things you're going to be asked to do. One is, if you get an equation like this one, you have to decide, just like we did on Friday, whether it's a polynomial or not. And if it is, you have to put it in standard form and classify it by degree and number of terms. Okay? If you get a term, you have to basically define the term, okay? So, for those of you that were gone on Friday, you're at a little bit of a disadvantage because you don't know all of these. So, you may want to take those notes that I just gave you with you to have to refer to as you are going over these cards. The rest of you should already know. We're going to do is take the four, first four rows, we're going to turn the desk sideways, we're going to shove them out of the way, move the chairs. Everybody's going to stand face to face with a partner. Those that I read their names, you're going to have to stand next to you. Wait, 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 wait. You're going to have to stand next to each other. Turns reading your cards or sharing the information. All right. Outside circle, <coughs> if you will move two to your left. <coughs> Outside circle, you're going to move two people to your left. Two to your right. Two to your right. That is when the experience It's not a real You don't get to sit down. Stand up. Ready? Okay, inside circle. Go one to your right, please. One to your right, inside circle. <laughs> okay, Cindy, how'd it go? I think it went pretty well. Um, we had some kids that were gone Friday, so there was some confusion in for, for them in terms of what their vocabulary was. But I think it was kind of nice, just one-on-one. -on -one. They shared information and any questions that they might have had. Students who'd been in class on Friday were able to kind of clear it up and show them some answers. So they kind of got up to speed with just a quick little review and some movement in the classroom. All right, so that's Inside Outside Circle. Thanks. You're welcome.